Hey, this is Dave, and today I'm going to be uh, reviewing a pair of Field and Stream winter boots. I picked these up at Dick's Sporting Goods for $50. I was originally thinking of getting a $150 pair of boots, but these have 600 grams of Thinsulate, so they actually have more insulation than the uh, expensive boots, so I decided to go with these. Let's take a look at the boot. Bottom of the boot is a uh, hard rubber sole. It's uh, got good grip on the snow and the uh, ice. Uh, and if you see the, red, the other part of the bottom of the boot, it's all covered in uh, rubber. So at least the bottom part of the boot is completely waterproof. The upper part has, I don't know if it's canvas or what, but it's at least uh, water resistant. I'm not sure if it's waterproof. I had these in uh, 10 inches of snow today and I didn't get any water in the boots. So whatever they're doing, it's doing a good job of keeping the water out. The shoelaces, they're pretty uh, tough. Uh, you're not going to have any problems with these breaking. All the uh, little eyelets that the shoelaces go in, these are all metal, so those will last. Let's go to the good part of the boot. It's got this nice Vinsulate sock that goes through the whole inside of the boot. It's really thick, almost an inch. Um, these are definitely the warmest boots I've ever used. I was wearing them all day and my feet didn't get cold at all. Uh, what else can we say about this boot? It's got a uh, camouflage uh, pattern on the outside. The, the pattern looks like a late fall or an early spring camouflage pattern. I don't like it because I see these boots as just something I'm going to wear in the winter. Like late fall or early spring, these would actually be too warm. Your feet will start sweating. Another thing is if you're wearing these to work, when you get to work you might want to switch to a regular pair of shoes because the uh, heavy amount of insulation in it is going to cause your feet to sweat when you're at room temperature. Um, as far as these, you probably notice they're pretty big. Well, they're size 12s. I wear a size 11. The reason I got them a, a size bigger is because I like to have a lot of wiggle room for my feet because this type of insulation in these boots, if you get them too tight, the insulation is going to be crushed and then it's not going to offer as much warmth. But Really, there's nothing bad I can say about these besides the camouflage pattern. Uh, I like the boots and I recommend them. Uh, this is going to, well, without a doubt, survive anything that the Chicago winter can throw at it. So, thanks for watching my review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks.